A Monroe County business owner charged with arson was back in court today more than a year after the devastating fire in downtown Stroudsburg. Now at this point it appears there won't be any plea deal, plea deal trial or sentencing for the crime. Eyewitness News reporter Brianna Strunk joins us live in Stroudsburg to explain why. Brianna? Well, Candace, a judge is trying to determine if Mona Siwiak was legally insane at the time of her crime, which displaced nine tenants, including a one week old baby. Now, if she is found legally insane, the criminal case against her would be dismissed. As 64 year old Mona Siwiak leaves her court hearing, the Weatherbees feel justice isn't being served. I mean, I know this is not going to happen. I'd like you to go for her to go to jail, but I know that's not possible. Last February, the couple lost everything in this fire and were homeless for about a month. They'll never forget waking up to their second floor apartment filling with smoke. And at that moment, we heard the fire trucks and we knew we knew we had to get out. It doesn't always look promising in the Wall Street Journal, but it does look promising on Main Street. In 2011, Eyewitness News interviewed Siwiak for a Black Friday story at her jewelry store. She's accused of setting fire to that business, which also destroyed apartments and offices in the building. Investigators say after the blaze, they found Siwiak parked outside a Northampton County police station covered by newspaper and an umbrella in the back seat. I mean, I suffer from mental health and I, I understand, you know, certain aspects, but, but I would never, never in a million years think of setting a place on fire. Crews recently tore down the rear of 617 Main Street, a place the Weatherbees once called home. It was just, just a horrible ordeal that for both of us to, to, to go through. The judge decided to reconvene today's hearing on July 8th. On that date, we are expected to find out if Siwiak will be found legally insane. Although criminal charges would be dismissed, Siwiak could still face civil penalties. Live in Stroudsburg, Brianna Strunk, Eyewitness News. Brianna, thank you. And victims were allowed to address the court today. They can do so again the same time in July, um, although the judge says it won't affect the outcome.